Hey, welcome to the video presentation on intersecting lines and parallel lines. Now, if you look at these two lines properly, then you can see that you can see that if at this position, like here, whatever distance you have here at this position, let me take with some different color. So the distance between these two lines. Suppose it is, let's say A, okay, let's A is any arbitrary number, okay, so distance between the, these two lines at this position is A, and if you take at this position, and if you measure it, it will again come as A. If you measure this the distance between these two lines at this position, it will be A again, and if you again measure at this position, this will be A again. Now, if you extend these lines, if you extend these lines in this direction, okay, in this direction, since it is a line and line travels infinitely, so if you extend this also, so again, if you go for the distance and if you measure the distance between these two lines, it will again come A. And you can continue this process of measuring the distance, I mean, towards this side to an infinite position. And similar thing you can do on this side. If you extend this line, if you extend this line, okay, it's just a rough diagram of, of the line, though it may not appear straight because I'm drawing with my hand, okay, without any help of scales and all. And here also, if you measure, if you measure the distance, it will again come A. So the point is, such lines, as you can see here, L1 and L2, if the distance between these two lines always remains constant, okay, it always remains same, whether you measure the distance at this position, or you measure at this position, or I mean, you can take up to, you know, the infinite position on this side and infinite position on this side the distance between these lines will always remain same will always remain the same and such lines are called non intersecting lines or parallel lines they are called non intersecting lines non intersecting lines or parallel lines or parallel lines Since the distance between these two lines or such lines is all will always remain the same, therefore there is no point whatsoever that they will intersect, I mean at certain point, there is no way whatsoever. They will never intersect or they will never cross each other at any point, whether it, I mean you take here or take here or take here such lines are called non intersecting lines because they will not intersect or cross each other like this okay they will always remain parallel parallel so such lines are called non intersecting lines or parallel lines now look at these lines we have a b c and d in a you have l1 and l2 if you can clearly see that these lines these two lines the position at, at this position the distance between them is this this much at this position it's this much at this position it's this much at this position it's it's this much and you can clearly see that as you're moving towards you know in this direction the distance between these two lines is decreasing and if I extend this line if I extend this line, it will finally, it will finally intersect here at this position, right? If you extend this line also, and if you extend this one, so you can clearly see that it's intersecting at this position. And since its distance between these two lines was decreasing, therefore a point will come when there will be no distance between these two lines, and that will be the point of contact. Or the point of intersection of these two lines and let's say that if this point is q 
if this point is q so at this point q the distance between these two lines is zero is nil there's no distance between these two lines because they got intersected at this at this point therefore since these lines are intersecting at this point therefore these lines are intersecting lines they are intersecting lines intersecting lines so although in the original uh, in the original diagram they were not shown as intersecting but you could clearly see that if you measure the distance between these two lines then they are you know de decreasing 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 and there will be a point when there will be no distance between these two lines and that's a point of intersection that's why they are non parallel lines or intersecting lines similarly in this case if if you extend this one if you extend this line this line and if you extend this line again you can clearly see that they are intersecting here they are intersecting here let's say it's q and this it's it's already you know these lines are have been shown as have been shown as intersecting lines here and this if you extend these lines if you extend these lines this here this here this one here and you can see that they are if you extend this one here, here and this one here so you can clearly see that it's intersecting here it's intersecting here and it's intersecting here so let's say the intersection point is p p q and r so these three lines are intersecting okay so l1 l2 and l3 these three lines are also intersecting lines in in in, in this case you have you have only two intersecting lines in this case you have only two intersecting lines in this case you have three intersecting lines and in this case also you have three intersecting lines why they are intersecting because the distance between these two lines will be zero at this contact point or the point of contact or the intersection point so it was all about parallel lines and intersecting lines